you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries january 10th sunday the feast of uh, the baptism of the lord i read from the holy gospel according to saint mark chapter 1 verses 7 to 11 he proclaimed the one who is more powerful than i is coming up to me i am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals i have baptized with you with water but he will baptize you with the holy spirit in those days jesus came from nazareth of galilee and was baptized by john in the jordan and just as he was coming up out of the water he saw the heavens torn apart and the spirit descending like a dove on him and the voice came from heaven you are my son the beloved with you i am well pleased the gospel of the lord praise the lord jesus christ happy feast day my dear friends we come today to the end of a christmas season and we have the third great epiphany or showing of god in the human person of jesus the first epiphany was at the birth of a child jesus in the stable at bethlehem where he was visited by the shepherds representing the poor marginalized and the sinful for whom jesus had specially come the second epiphany was when the wise men came from the east to worship the newly born jesus they represented all those peoples and nations who were being invited to be numbered among god's own people through the meditation meditation of jesus as lord and today we celebrate the third great epiphany of the lord in jesus christ the time is much later jesus is now an adult probably about the 30 years of age we are brought to the bank of the river jordan somewhere north of jerusalem where john the baptist a cousin of jesus is living out in the desert the desert is some base is a place where god can be found although for jesus it was also a place of a trial and temptation for the early fathers in the desert it provided both experience john the baptist john leads a very austere life dressed in his simplest of clothes and sustaining himself and whatever nourishment he can find in the vicinity he has made a name for himself as a man of god a large numbers come out to hear and be influenced by him the opening words of today's gospel tell us that he was proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins it is important not to misunderstand the meaning of these words it would be quite wrong to think that people simply had to come for baptism in the river for all their sins to be wiped away out that would be little more than superstition the baptism itself was a symbolic act which had to be accompanied by an inner change the word repentance here is a metanoia in greek it implies a radical change in the way we look at the meaning and purpose of life how we live that life asks it calls for more than is normally connected by repentance which we normally understand as being sorry for something we have done it metanoia is much more than just a feeling sorry it calls for a total reorganization of one's attitudes so that such errant and hurting behavior would simply disappear from one's life the forgiveness of sins is more than just god just wiping out the guilt and the threat of punishment that our sins might involve in essence our sins can never be wiped out the damage they do often lasts for a very long time and they cannot be undone if i have murdered someone they stay dead no more how sorry i feel if i have destroyed a person's reputation it may remain destroyed forever hurtful words spoken can be called back so my dear friends let us worship our lord 
during this feast of our baptism of the lord and repent ourselves ask god's pardon and mercy amen happy wisday